Welcome to our reflections on Thursday. I hope that you enjoyed that video of the birds flying freely at St Kilda. It was only a short spate of, uh, of videoing, but I hope that you got swept away with them as they flew seemingly carefree over the cliffs of that remote and wonderful place. Well, I'm in another wonderful place now. As you'll see, uh, Paris, uh, the t Eiffel Tower in the background, the uh, uh, Louvre just along the way. No, actually, I'm in Blackpool. I'm at a superintendent's conference. I can't, uh, I can't lie anymore. Let me just uh, show you the pier there at Blackpool. I'm at a superintendent's conference um, in which there's a there's a program, um, but you're free to come and go as you wish, depending on what you need. It's an interesting comment on on freedom. And that's what we're looking at today. I was struck at the Jubilee events in Lanchester um, by a conversation I had with Tatiana who's come from Kyiv in uh, Ukraine. She's free from that and yet obviously she is still caught up in the turmoil of what's happening in her home country. What does freedom mean for you, do you think, right now? For me here I can choose what I wish to go to and what I wish to uh, miss because I can just stroll freely along the Brom here. Or I can chat to others who are skiving. Or I can chat to people who might help me uh, in my work as I have been frequently doing. What does freedom mean for you? Are you free to choose or are you constrained as we often are because with freedom of course comes responsibility for others. Maybe you're not free in that sense because you feel called to a particular act of service or care or a duty. Maybe you feel guilt because of that sense of duty. Freedom is not uncluttered, but actually loaded with all kinds of uh, different things. Our scripture for today is Romans 8, first few verses. And they include this phrase, There is now no condemnation, for the spirit of life has set us free from the spirit of law and death for those who are in Christ Jesus. So I hope that you feel free today, that there's no condemnation upon you, whatever choices you make, for we have been set free. We're set free in love, but that does, yes, bring responsibilities. Fulfill your calling as best you can today. God bless.